The FIFA Women's World Cup is heating up. 32 of the top national teams are competing head to head. It started yesterday and our Bernie Smilovitz is breaking down what we've seen so far. Haran, lovely ball, Morgan. The USA women begin play tonight against Vietnam and Vietnam is one of eight nations making their Women's World Cup debut. But that doesn't mean anyone on the USA side is taking things lightly. Goalie Alyssa Nair says the ladies have a game plan and it's built on the experience they've gained over the years. Just taking everything one game at a time um, was the biggest thing that I, I learned and remember from 2019 is our focus staying, um, you know, it's a, it's a seven game tournament and um, there's going to be a lot of things that come up along the way and keeping our focus, you know, one training session at a time, one game at a time. One thing about this Vietnam team is they have played together for a long time. 22 of their 23 players play their club soccer in Vietnam, so they're familiar with each other. But USA Ford's Sophia Smith says America's goal is to play their game and all will turn out well. At the end of the day, the biggest focus is on ourselves and the game that we want to play and the style that we want to play in the style that we know how to play, regardless of who it is we're playing. Obviously, you have to adapt. You have to change on the fly. That's the game. The pressure on Team USA is immense, and that's evident to the players. Emily Fox is a defender on the USA team, and she says pressure just comes with the gig. With this team, no matter what, there's always going to be pressure. Um, and so I think, you know, as soon as you step on this team and you're ready for that and you're expecting it. So I think in terms of um, you know, this World Cup, we're focusing on the first game, we're taking it game by game, and then really just, you know, I think some people have talked about this, but like attacking the challenge and this World Cup. USA Vietnam begins tonight at 9 o'clock. Bernie Smilovitz, Local 4 Sports. And staying in their best condition is paramount to winning that World Cup. And a big concern for any player is tearing their ACL. And females, if you didn't know, are four to six times more likely to tear theirs than men. That likelihood only goes up for women playing soccer. For why this is and how it can be prevented, we have Dr. Nicholas Dutchison, an orthopedic surgeon in studio with us. Thank you for being with us, Doc. Thank you for having me, Priya. So we're talking about ACL tears, and this is, you see it a lot, especially with female soccer players. Absolutely, it's a very common injury in uh, athletes in general and in females, like you said, it's uh, four to six times higher. Mm -hmm. There's 80,000 ACL tears each year that happen in women uh, in high school sports alone. 80,000. 80,000. So what is the cause for that? What, why do you think we see such an increase? So there are some anatomic factors uh, where there's differences between men and women. Um, women are general, ge uh, generally more ligament, ligamentously lax than okay. men. Um, the notch on their femur uh, is a little narrower, so it kind of chokes off the ACL. And then one other reason is that uh, when they come down from uh, jumping, uh, women tend to land with their knee more extended, which kind of mm. pops the ACL off, whereas men land with the knee flexed. Okay. So that's some, some of the reasons. reasons. So when we're looking at, I know you brought this like really interesting display here. So where where is the tear happening? So if you get the uh, kneecap oh, out of wow. position, it's right in the front of the knee. Gotcha. The okay. uh, ACL usually pulls off the femur and hurts and the knee swells up. How long is that recovery time? Well, return back to sport can take quite a while, mm. um, anywhere from nine to 12 months, uh, sometimes longer. Most athletes will say that they didn't feel like the, their normal self until the following season that they actually come back. So uh, it can be up to you know over lengthy. a year. So with so many fans and families watching the World Cup right now and inspired by uh, Team USA, what is your advice for some of our younger up and coming players? Well, there are injury prevention programs that okay. have been shown to reduce uh, the incidence of ACL tears by 70%. And again, it kind of goes back down to learning how to uh, uh, come down from a jump. Okay. So if we can get that out there, I won't be seeing as many patients. So a little technique can go a long way when it comes to just keeping yourself healthy and, and ready to go. Absolutely, absolutely. Is there any other advice you have? Stay hydrated, okay. stretch. Um, and the basics. The basics, exactly. All right. Exactly. Well, thank you so much, Doc, for being in studio with us. Thank and uh, thanks for giving us a little demo as well. No problem. Hopefully thank we you. don't see too many ACL tears during this World Cup. Absolutely. Thanks.